Hello and welcome to Spike Nerd Culture, a creative leadership podcast. I'm your host, Steve. And this week's topic is in India as it is in heaven. This topic is one of my favorite topics, and so I'm excited to jump into it. But first of all, shout out to Ricky and shout out to the Outcast team because they've been using this phrase on t-shirts. They've been using this, especially when we're doing our Bass events, and they've been going hard at it, and I just love it. I love it. I love it. And I just hope they keep using it because... This is the uh, kind of statement that can get into our hearts and our minds and we can meditate on it and it can really change the nation because it kind of comes to us and it says, okay, what if, what if India, right? Like what if everything we know would reflect heaven? And of course, most of you know that this is inspired by Matthew 6.10. So all of us are people, at least if you're a believer, if you're a leader in any sphere of influence, whether it's like a business, whether it's in the creative arts, whether you're just in church, I mean, I'm just saying like, you have to really think about this statement because that is exactly what we're going after. We're looking at the earth, we're looking at everything that we're doing and we're putting it under this plumb line, right? Is everything we're doing bringing the culture of heaven down to earth? Is my business, is my family, everything that I'm doing, is it actually bringing heaven heaven to earth. And verse six, no, chapter six, verse 10, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right? Just like think about that for a second. You know, the idea of like your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And some of you might be like, Steve, honestly, I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't understand what does kingdom really even mean? What does your will be done really mean? How do I know God's will in everything I'm doing? How do I know God's will in my business? How do I know God's will for me and my family? And honestly, like I say it simply as this, okay? Like I look at the life of Jesus. I look at how he lived, right? And he always, he was walking the will of God at all times. And I think that the kingdom of, you know, like, I mean, I'm talking about what God's heart and God's desire is, right? If we're looking like for your kingdom come, you know, Jesus coming down to earth is exact representation of what the kingdom coming down to earth really looks like. And when we're asking for the kingdom of heaven to come to earth, we're asking for the same culture that Jesus set among his disciples, the same culture, you know? So for me, what it looks like is this simple. It looks like, okay, if if Jesus walked and he did not let any disease, right? Every disease, every sickness, every illness, every evil spirit, Jesus cast it out. Jesus healed it. So for me, that, that simply means that in the kingdom of heaven, there's no sickness, right? In the kingdom of heaven, there's no demons or like there's no oppression, no all these things that really like go against what the kingdom is, right? What I see Jesus going against, that's, it was simple to me. Like, I mean, I think sometimes we can complicate things. We can over preach things. But to me, looking at the life of, of Jesus and what he did, how he walked on the earth is exactly what I pray for and exactly what I want to see in my own life, what I want to see in the business that I do, in, in the work that I do. I'm always asking that question. Am I actually bringing the culture of heaven down to earth? And you have to ask yourself that because for me, you know, I think it can be so easy to get caught up in the mundane, in the in the day-to-day of doing different things, but not actually asking ourselves the most important questions of, are we actually pursuing the kingdom? Are we actually going after the thing that God has called us to? You know, as a leader right now, if, if you're to ask yourself, right, is my business bringing the culture of heaven down to earth, right? Is my home life? Is my business life? Is in my marriage, in my friendships? Do I have the culture of heaven? And if you don't know what the culture of heaven looks like, right? If you don't know what the kingdom or the will of God looks like in your relationships, right? There's a way to look at the life of Jesus and actually find truth. And that's why I was also believe in mentorship and I, I believe in having discipleship and people who can help you. And, and you can ask because we are all going through different challenges. And so for the person who's just starting business, for the person who's never actually thought about this, what does it look like for me in my family, in my business, right? As a doctor, as an engineer to actually walk this out on my workplace. You know, there's people who are believers who are also experiencing these areas that can they are able to walk you through these seasons because I believe it's actually really important for us to look at these things and say, okay, Lord, like, am I actually living out 
this commandment to actually bring down the kingdom on, on earth as it is in heaven, in India as it is in heaven. So for me, I remember the first time I actually got introduced to this phrase was to my friend John. My friend John was a friend from college, and I remember we were walking across campus one day, and someone was sick. And my friend John, you know what he does? Uh, so, of course, you know, we're Christians, so we're like, hey, let's pray for him. Let's see if God will heal. And so for me, you know, honestly, I used to pray for people for healing, for different things. I mean, that's typical. You know, as a believer, you do that. Um, but John, I remember he, we prayed for, for one of my, you know, for one of our friends, and Jonathan, um, he goes, hey, can you test it out? And when he did that, you know, one of the things that actually caught my attention is he just spoke, right? I think my friend, you know, he had, if I remember an ankle or a knee, it was something wrong with his leg. And he, I think he was limping. Um, and John, Jonathan was like, hey, let's go and pray for um, our friend here. And so as he prayed, he just said, you know, you know, Lord, I pray that, you know, uh, as there's no pain, there's no, you know, inflammation in heaven. I pray for the culture of heaven to come right in, in our friend's knee, in our friend's ankles. So it's like the culture of heaven, you know, to come in, you know, and, and, and I just remember thinking, oh, that's an interesting way to pray, right? That you're bringing the reality of heaven. You say your will be done, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So it's 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 literally praying that prayer by speaking the life of the kingdom into every situation where there's no kingdom reality. We're asking God to bring kingdom reality. And I remember also the second thing being I, I was a little bit kind of like nervous because that's the first time someone says, you know, hey, can you check to see if you actually, you know, got healed? And I remember being like, oh, man, that's a little bit nerve wracking for me because I'd never been around believers who actually prayed and believed that you could actually see it happen, right? Like the idea of like pray and then you see it happen right there, right there. And I was like, this is going to be awkward if he says no or if he says this and this. And and I mean, going forward, I remember just being so, I mean, I, I guess enthralled. Like I was just like in shock and also like, man, I want to live a life of expectation one. And I want to start living a life of asking God, would your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven? And the question I want to ask, you know, for us, what, what is it going to take for it to be that reality in India? What would it take for, for the church, for the, for the different industries, whether it's in business, in healthcare, in engineering, you know, in arts and entertainment, right? What would it take for the culture of heaven to come? in India as it is in heaven. What, what would that look like even? Can we even imagine that? You know, he's the God that can do more than we can think or imagine. But the thing is, like, are we imagining a world, an India, where the kingdom is alive, where the kingdom is, is, is on showcase? And we know that we are God's plan A, right? Like, we're, we're the ones who are having to walk this out. Like, and do we have a plan to walk this out? And I remember... Uh, just growing up, my, my dad used to say, you know, if you don't have a plan, you plan to fail, right? And so do we have a plan as leaders? And that's the question I want to leave with you um, with this podcast is, do you have a plan as a leader? Do we have a plan, you know, um, at Spike Nord, do we have a plan to bring the culture of the kingdom, right? The will of God on earth as it is in heaven, in India as it is in heaven in the different sphere that we're, you know, in a sense, like an assignment that the Lord has given us in the digital space, you know, like, do we have a plan? And that's the same question, you know, I would, I would give to anyone, in, you know, you don't have to be in India, but anywhere you are. I mean, I'm asking, you know, in, a, in, in your family, in your business, in, 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 in anything that you're doing is actually when you read the Bible, that is it congruent? Like, do things match up or are we just playing pretend? And that's the thing I'm asking myself too, and I'm just having self-reflection because I'm asking God, I want to see the real thing. I want to see your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Like I am hungry. Like I am tired of living for the status quo. I'm tired for, you know, I mean, when David played, I mean, demons would flee. God, I'm asking for worship songs. God, I'm asking for singers, musicians. I'm asking for preachers. God, I'm asking that you would raise up ones who, when they preach, God, I'm asking for ones when they pray. I'm asking for ones when they lead worship. I'm asking for song 
that break in and then they show up god that, that that when you you know like anoint these ones that there's actually power that moves through that demons flee that there's something there's like a shift in atmospheres right and you know when we see these engineers when we see these messengers these designers we're we're able to see an actual shift in atmospheres in india as it is in heaven and that is my prayer. I mean, that is my desire. And that's what I want to leave with you this week to really ponder and reflect on. What would it take? What would it take for it to be in India? As it is, you know, like for the kingdom to be manifest in India, for it to become, right, in Bangalore, right, in Chennai, in Delhi, in Kathmandu, right? in Pakistan, in, in Afghanistan, in the Maldives, in all the surrounding nations? What would it take? What would it take in Africa? What would it take in Kenya? Right in Nairobi? What would it take for Rwanda, for Ethiopia? What would it take for you to be in Egypt? For the, you know, we know the Palestinian, you know, Israeli conflict. We spoke about that a few weeks ago. What would it take? For the culture of the kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven, in India as it is in heaven. And that's the question that I am like asking myself. I don't have all the answers, but I want us to just go on this journey together. And hopefully in the next few weeks, we're able to find answers together as we dialogue, as we pray, as we ask for wisdom. Because I think it's going to be something that it takes all of us. It takes all of us from different regions, from different places on the earth. You know, asking the Lord to empower us, to give us wisdom to walk as he did. And so I'm going to leave you with that this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, join us on our, uh, we have on, of course, on Instagram. Um, please join us in the conversations that we're creating. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, please ask on Spagna Culture. It, you know, you can visit spagna.co also on our main page. Ask questions, engage with us. If there's any topics or any questions you have from the podcast or from the topics that I'm talking about, would love to do that. And hopefully, even with this topic, um, I, I would love to bring on Ricky, uh, you know, one of these days and just talk with him about the idea that he's developing with Outcast and the family there about in India as it is in heaven. Because I want to keep having this conversation. I want to keep putting it in front of you. I want to keep pushing it, you know, um, in, in, in the Indian, like, uh, you know, in a sense, culture and in, in Indian uh, kind of communities, because I, I want this to become a conversation. I want, you know, young and adults and, and youth groups to be talking about this idea and asking, what is it going to take? What do we have to do to do it? And, and I know I know we're going to do it. I know we're going to do it. And I'm so excited to see it happen. And with that, I'm leaving you and I'm saying uh, thank you so much for listening in. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.